Hi, my name is Super Dave, and for today's video, we're going to have some fun. I'm going to get shot in the face with a 12 gauge. And I'm Bill, and I'm the one who's going to do it. And we'll be right back in a minute, and we're going to show you what we're going to do. Alright everybody, we're having some fun today, and I want to give a shout out to Pyramex again for sending us out the capstone goggles and the glasses like they did. Pyramex, you can check them out online, they're on YouTube. So what we're going to do today is we're going to shoot Super Dave here with a shotgun like 20 feet, 12 feet, maybe 7, seven yards with some bird shot. We're going to see if this capstone shield and goggles are as durable as what they say. I mean, we know they are already with all the videos that we did for Pyramex. Their glasses and everything is top notch. Um, we're going to throw some stuff at it. We're going to shoot it with slingshots and we're going to shoot it and we're going to see what kind of destructive damage we can do to them. So uh, we're going to get set up and we're going to start having fun. All right, the uh, Pyramex capstone goggles and shield, I mean, they're supposed to protect you from a lot of stuff and it has the nostrils on it. The vents for the face shield to let you breathe in and out. Uh, but we're going to shoot it first with this kind of slingshot. The knuckle buster. And I broke a finger the last time that I used it. But we're going to shoot our glass BBs at it. And it, like I said, it's cold today. So I'm not sure what it's going to do to these goggles and a face shield. But we're going to give it a try. See what happens anyway. But after we do these, I'll probably pick something up like mud or something to throw it at it. I mean, it's a dust and stuff like that protecting goggles so uh got my glass bb in there first we're going to shoot it and we're going to see what these goggles are going to withstand this little tiny slingshot so here we go oh, i missed on that one load another one there we go hit it that time I'm going to put a steel one in there now, a steel BB. Another glass one. So let's come close and look at this. So I'm shooting it with a slingshot. Didn't even leave a mark. I mean, I hit it right here a couple times. I hit it up here in the goggles. Um, let's try a bigger and stronger slingshot and see if we can bust this glass or something. Now, this kind of slingshot, it's called the Barnett Black Widow, and it's the same. We got glass BBs, a couple of them, and some steel steel BBs, and we're going to uh, shoot it with that. But first, this one shoots a little harder. I'm going to put on my Pyronex Venture 2 safety glasses, because I don't want to get hit in the eyeball with a BB from a ricochet. That would hurt, and I'd be walking around with a black eye. So I'm going to try the uh, steel shot first. Let's see what this does. There we go. Oh, you missed. It's a little hard to aim these things. Oh, miss. There it is again. There is a good shot. Now I'm going to try a glass one and see what that does to it. The first three shots was from uh, steel. This is glass. Oh, I got him in the goggles part. All right, another glass BB. Hit the face shield. All right, another glass BB. Right in the nose part of the goggles. Try one more uh, steel BB. Yeah, 
Okay, that one does shoot a little harder. So far on that. And it just knocked it down a little bit. Put him back up there. He's still good. Don't even have a mark on there. All right. Like I said, these are good pyramid stuff. You could use these for paintballing and any everything, couldn't you? Oh yeah. Yeah, these are pretty cool. Like I said, this strip on the top, you could take this off, and it's for like extra air to go down. And like I said, if you guys want to buy these from Paramex, it's called the Capstone Face Shield and Goggles. And so far, they're impressive. The, the withstand, the slingshot. Let's try a little Daisy BB gun, and let's see how that works. I got my grandson's uh, little Buck Daisy BB gun. These are cool. We got these from Walmart, and it wasn't very much, but let's see if the grandson's BB gun will do some damage to these goggles. Here we go, let's try it. Shooting them right in the eyeball, part of the goggles. Now on the face shield. That was, BB up. That was on the nose part. Cameraman getting hit with ricochets yet? Nope. Getting close. Alright. So, right here we'll go closer. Nothing. A BB gun. Daisy BB gun. Not even a scratch or anything, is it? And we gotta remind, remind you that it's cold outside too and it makes glass and plastic think, brittle. Is that the way it was or is it? Yeah. He, oh, okay. That's the way he was. Well, we're gonna have to step up the game a little bit. We're gonna have to break out a 410 Rossi bird shot and see what that does to it. You gotta hold on a minute, let's get that gun. All right, we got the we got the Rossi 410. And like I said before, we're gonna use the regular bird shot, Super Speed X, six shot bird shot. We're gonna shoot three shots at it, 20 yards, 10 yards, and seven yards to see what the damage would do to it. I don't think it would be too much. So that, that's pretty hard plastic that Pyramex did. But uh, we're going to give it a try. Here we go. Shot number one. There's one. We're going to step up. About eight yards. He blew the face shield off of it. Let's do it again at eight yards and see what the damage is going to be. And I blew Super Dave clean off. So let's go check him out. So the face shield from that 410, I mean, it, it's dippled up, it's nippled up right there, but it withstood that shotgun blast at 10 and 8 yards. It, none of them BBs went through, none of them. That is amazing. So let's check these glasses out. Sorry, Super Dave, I didn't mean to offend you. Wow, look at this. You can see the BBs that went through. One in his ear, right there. That's mud. You got a, mud, a few on his cheek, right through here. And in his chin, and I got him in his neck. But, if you notice, Sorry, Super Dave, but if you notice, none of them BBs went through. It saved the Pyramix capstone goggles and face shield saved Super Dave. I mean, his eyeballs are still safe. Yeah, right there, right there, right there. None of it made it through. 
Wow, that is that is cool. What do you think? I think them are good. I mean, that is cool. Live to fight another day, right? Right. I mean, I can't put the face shield back on. But it withstood that shotgun blast at that close. None of them made it through. Super Dave lived to fight another day. And he's able to see. So, I say we step it up again. I'm going to try to put this back on there. And tape it on there somehow. And uh, what do you think? Tannerite them? Maybe. We're put some tanner right in front of this and see if that will uh, penetrate this. But you give us a moment. We're going to get set up, tape this back on there, and we'll be right back. All right, we got our 35 rim with a hollow point, and we're going to shoot some tanner right of Super Dave down there. And we're going to see if them capstone goggles and face shield, they'll do the trick. Uh, it's half a pound, right? Half a pound? Yes. Half a pound tanner right. All right. Let's get this going and let's see what happens. It's cold today, if I can hold still long enough. We're about 20 yards away. All right. Let's go down there and see what happened to Super Dave. All right, I don't think the first tanner ride went off, so we're gonna shoot it again. We always gotta have that big boom. But yeah, I don't think the first one went off. So, again and again until it goes. That was that boom we was wanting. And that was a half a pound. We didn't want to put a whole pound in there because I think it was gonna screw Super Dave up. But come on over, let's see, how we, let's see if we killed Super Dave. All right, so we walked up here, and that half a pound of tanner, right? I mean, there's just, oh my God, there's, it broke a four by four in half. And that's what happened to the face shield. It turned it inside out. But, let's look at Super Dave and see what happened to Super Dave. And Super Dave... He's still alive, old Super Dave. Nothing really happened to him. Smushed his mouth a little bit, but that is a survival bull explosion of tanner right that close to his face. I know Pyramix ain't gonna like that, but we had to do a supreme test on their safety glasses because we couldn't get anything else to penetrate it. I mean, the 410, the BBs, the slingshots, I was hoping uh, they would last a little bit longer because I was wanting to shoot the 12 gauge at it too. But Super Dave, he's still in good shape. This needs cleaned up a little bit. And here's, he could still uh, survive through another video. But I'm going to look around here and see if I can't find the safety glasses part. Yeah, I think I did find them. Let's see what happened to these safety glasses. They flew about five feet away. And, and what happened to these glasses is all it did was knock the plastic out of them and that was it and you find a piece of plastic so yeah it, it protected super dave i mean it didn't really do no hard hard damage to the outer case of them that's still good just clean them up and find another piece of plastic to put in them and you can go back to wearing these again even a clip that was holding the, to super dave's head Still brand new, still holds. That is cool. I mean, it did the test. What do you think, Cameron? I think it worked good. <clears throat> yeah, if you call Pyramid so I can get new safety lens for these glasses, these goggles, you can still wear these. I mean, you do have to order another face shield, but this saves Super Dave's life. These glasses and goggles, the uh, capstone face shield. So let's get set up. Let's try something else. We'll be right back. All right, we're having fun today, right? I want to. I don't want to end the video. We're gonna keep on going. So now what we're gonna do? We're gonna see how far a 22 
would go through all these pieces of plexiglass and see if we can't bust some Pyramix Venture gear ballistics glasses. Both of these are ballistic glasses. We're going to use the Rossi 22 on it. We have fun with this little gun. But there's 47 of these pieces of plexiglasses together. And let me put it up for you. I hot glued them together in some trim. But yeah, I got the two pieces of glasses glued together. We're going to see if that 22 can go through all these and bust a hole through these ballistic glasses. If not, we'll put the other barrel on there and shoot it with the 410 slug. That'd be fun. All right, let's get this set up and let's try it. All right, I got my other uh, Pyramix safety glasses on. You know, safety first. We're not going to use hollow points for the 22. We're going to use the regular bullets because we want all as much penetration as we can for this plexiglass. And put my ear protection in. I don't know how many uh, how many bullets you or how how many pieces of plexiglass you think it would go through. Ten. Ten. I say. I don't know, it's cold outside. The plexiglass is cold and brittle. I'd say, what, 20? All right, let's give it a try. We're seven yards away. Let's see what this does. All righty, let's try it. Let's take a walk. Let's take a walk and let's find out. It's dead in the center, right where we wanted it. Wow. It went through a lot of them. It turned it into dust. Look at that. I figured that's because it's cold today. But it went through uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 18. It went through 18. It stopped right there. I don't know where the bullet is. I can't find the bullet. I don't know where it went. But it's not in there. Might be just so cold that it disintegrated that bullet. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of lead lead in there, right in there. A lot of lead, so it might have disintegrated that bullet. There's a little piece. But let's load it up with a 410 and see if 410 can bust through there. Alrighty, we did find that 22 bullet and uh, we found it on the ground about a couple feet away. It made it like perfectly around that plexiglass. So that is cool. But we're going to go on to the 410 slug because we got to bust through all these plexiglasses and hit them glasses, safety glasses behind because they're ballistic tip or ballistic, not ballistic tips, but they're ballistic safety glasses. So, uh, Let's try. Let's see if we can go through them all first shot. We're about seven yards away. And it looks like I hit the same hole that the 22 hit. Let's go down here and check it out. Yeah. That's the same hole. Hit the same place the 22 did. And we caught it, it looks like. Was that it? Yeah, we caught it right there. Look at that weird shape. Here, I'll hear some more of it. Wow, that's messed up. Look at that lead. It broke into three different pieces. There's some more down here. That's all left from that 410. That's crazy. We're going to have to do it again. That's getting pretty fun. You find any more? No, just busting them all up. Alright. Let's shoot it again with the 410. See, we'll probably shoot it around on this side. On this side and see if we can't get to them glasses. That's what we're trying to do is get to them glasses. Since they're supposed to be tactical and see how strong they really are. All right, let's do this. Try it again. 
try on this left side this time. <laughs> See what the damage is. Still didn't go through all that plexiglass. But it carved a big hole <coughs> in the center of it. Yeah, more lead everywhere. Alright, let's load it up again. Let's do the... Uh, Bird shot 12 gauge. Let's see what damage that will do. All right, I'm gonna try the bird shot out 12 gauge. See if this is gonna work pretty good. We got to get to them glasses today. Let's try it. I like this gun here. This is cool. And it flew off the table. <clears throat> well, it's busting it all apart. But we still didn't get to them safety glasses yet. Let's set it up and try it again. All right, keep shooting it. See what kind of damage we can do. That flew off the, that flew off the table again. Did they get to the glasses? Well, one pair of glasses are gone. I don't know where they are. But what we can do is just shoot these glasses here with the bird shot and see what kind of damage it comes out from. All right, let's get ready. All right, we found them other glasses, so we stuck them in behind the uh, tinted ta tactical glasses. And uh, there's nothing in front of them. They're just the glasses itself. We're going to shoot them with the birdshot and see how tough these glasses really are. I mean, they're tactical. It should withstand birdshot at least. So uh, let's give her a try. There we go. And they disintegrated. Here are the frames for the other one. All right, we found these glasses after getting shot with a 12 gauge bird shot at seven yards. And their tactical is all get out. I mean, it might have broke. Let's get these off of here. It might have broke the frames of these glasses on the, in the initial impact. But they are tactical. I mean, you might have got shot in the face with a 12-gauge bird shot. But none of them BBs went through that plexiglass. That's amazing. I think. What do you think, cameraman? I think that's awesome. I mean, you might have got shot in the face. Your cheeks are going to be hurting. Your <laughs> yeah, your cheeks are going to be hurting, but you're not blind. You can still see. All you got to do is pick the BBs out of your chin, and you'll be all right. I mean, look at that. That's proof right there. Them glasses are tough. Them tactical glasses. And these here, they might have messed up the rubber on them a little bit, but these glasses here are still in good shape. I mean... The BBs hit right here, scratched them up a little bit up here. But them glasses, the BBs never went through them glasses. They're still in good shape. You can still wear these things. 
they're still good. I mean, this, these, they took the initial blast and the VBs didn't go through. I'm amazed with them. Paramex is your thumbs up for me. I mean, how, how much better could you get? I mean, yeah, there you go again. Another shotgun test ready. I don't know. I'm still, I'm, I'm stumped. I'm really stumped. They're, they're good glasses. And uh, I think they'll call that a video. What do you say? Yep. All right. This is Bill. Give us a thumbs up. You like the video? You want to see more like this with pyramid safety glasses? Pyramid? Pyramex, not pyramid. <laughs> but yeah, I'm Bill. It's Crazy Hillbilly Channel. Give us a thumbs up and a like and subscribe. We are out of here.